you know, I mean, rolling plants, all dynamic, you're quick on your toes. And, you know, you have, a, you know, there is, I didn't send you like information that I, uh, you know, refer to as how, what determines an individual's personality. And I, you know, I don't know where it is, but uh, let me just verbally communicate. Thing is the personality, like, you know, what you have or anybody has, you know, it's determined mainly by, um, two factors, you know, one is the nature, one is nurture, you know, it's the DNA. You know, first of all, you have to have the right DNA, so that you are born with, you know, to your parents, you know, that's heredity. That's not something, like, if you don't have that basic raw material, I mean, you're done, you know, that you will be type E, and that's it. So if you happen to have that genetically. Second is the nurture. Now, that's how you were raised, you know, like your experiences. Um, you know, what you were exposed to, because the same type A people who are actually, you know, in one environment could actually end up, you know, being more harmful for themselves, you know, not, if they don't get to channelize, you know, or they don't get any encouragement, you know, around, if they don't happen to meet any other type A people who are able to guide them, uh, you know, in terms of um, lessons that they have will eventually learn themselves for sure. I mean, but it's just that it's going to take an extra time, extra energy, like a lot of drainage, as you mentioned. So they just tend to clam up, you know, and all their creative juices, you know, to, for them to flow. They need interaction, constant interaction with a similar kind, you know, of individuals. Uh, which, you know, they'll constantly be lonely, like in that respect that not everybody understands, you know, their way of thinking. It's just does not suggest naturally to somebody who's, whose brain DNA is not wired uh, the same way. So you can't really blame them. Actually, you know, it's good to be type B. You know, I don't really look down upon them because they have happy lives. You know, they don't have much expectations of themselves, you know, of, uh, and, and their brain is not... I Dritum is not dumbed down. It's just wired differently. So it's like not, um, you know, optimized for taking any stress of making your own decisions or even looking at, they like to work, look at the world with rosy glasses. And, you know, guess what? If, you, if you, that's what you look at and that's what you'll experience for them life and they're happier as they go through life, you know, because they don't think and overthink, you know, and a uh, type A person like tends to like waste a lot of the energy like with the little situations, you know, they just constantly like, I mean, they don't, if the mind is going a thousand different directions, you know, you won't accomplish anything. So just kind of enter, they just come to a just complete stop because of all this drainage of their resources, you know, in all these multiple areas. Uh, so they just like, don't realize that they tend to like pick and they should pick and choose they should actually focus on instead of like million things 10 things you know like i'm in a limited number then they can fully concentrate you know uh, because what happens is different deadline comes that's why they're more affected eff effective if there is a deadline because in the shorter time they then tend to force to focus on whatever it is that is very imminent so their energy then and the focus is complete and they get the job done you know, and that's because they are just uh, not cognizant and they don't really, um, you know, like take a step back. Everything like, you know, that passes around, you know, tend to send their gray cells, you know, like, I mean, working in that, you know. So, like, I mean, all this is dissipation, you know, it's just like, um, so, um, <clears throat> I mean, by itself, you know, like, I mean, I, every type of person I know, uh, they have their own mind. You know, so another thing is like when they come in touch with another type A, like initially there's a period that there is a friction, you know, because they all, they're very opinionated, but like you and I, you know, I felt, felt um, you know, and it's a natural process because, you know, you need to actually kind of go through a phase, you know, where uh, the only like alternative, uh, you know, when it becomes like a mutually, um, you know, um, what is called mutually beneficial uh, relationship is if between the two, one of them actually, uh, through time, ends up getting respect, the one that's older and considers and thinks that they are more wiser, you know, and cannot like it shows the respect, you know, and uh, like the mental protege, like, so then it becomes very much beneficial. 
because otherwise the constant tussle will be that both type of individuals will have their own opinion and they will think it's valid you know but um, the third thing we forget is you know the individual's personality like is also determined by the number of years uh, you know the phase of life they are in so that is number three nature nurture and this number three i have added by myself uh, you know it is um, you know your sum total of your experiences and there's a book that you need to read uh, it's called you know the crisis of uh, adult life by gail Sheehy. the pred predictable causes of um, you know, uh, something along those lines. I, I've done the one for men. I think there's the one for women as well. But every 10 years, you know, our personality changes. You know, we go from in the 20s, we are a different, uh, you know, person, like because we are kind of like new and inexperienced, you know, and uh, 20s are for like rolling around, you know, like I mean, making mistakes, you know, being adventurous. By the time you turn 30, then you settle down. Like, I mean, you get married, you know, you start your family life. Also, for a man, like, he starts his serious career at 30. So, 30s, like, are for, like, I mean, the financial goals, you know, like, I mean, become at the top of the list. So, uh, by the time you will reach, reach late 30s, you know, you would actually now, you know, well established career by then. Your family life is okay. Uh, plus, you know, you're. You're doing well at your job, like you're respected for your professional credentials. But then suddenly you realize, you know, like, I mean, the man actually, if men, get, men go through the midlife crisis, I don't know what women go through. But so like when, when by the time you're 40, like, you know, you're, then you actually is now happiness, you know, a satisfaction you get, you know, like in the 30s by earning and by buying, buying nice things and all. That now doesn't give you that much thrill. What you actually enjoy better as you get older is giving back to the society. So you are just a different. So somebody who's in their twenties, irrespective of their DNA and the nature and nurture they have had, they're still not bound to be as wise, if you want to call it. You know, or um, uh, so their opinion is. Yes, valid, but it is not as valid as the one from somebody who's type A, like who is actually 10 plus, you know, 20 plus years, years of age. So that's how the dynamic actually works, you know. So